Are you the parent of a special needs child in Texas? And do you find that your marriage is falling apart? Unfortunately, many times the stress of caring for a special needs child is the root cause of divorce. My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney who has been helping people get through divorce in San Antonio and surrounding counties in Texas since 1987. And one thing I've learned in representing parents who are primary caretakers of special needs children in the divorce is that in getting child support, you are allowed to ask for child support after the child reaches age 18 if they will never be able to support themselves. However, oftentimes there's no benefit to doing that if the child is getting some government benefits, if they're getting social security, disability, and um, the um, benefit from the government is going to be reduced by the exact amount of the child support that you receive, then there's no sense in getting the child support because it doesn't increase the amount of income you have coming in at all. Now, sometimes the child support might be greater than what you would be getting from the government. In that case, it's it's good to go ahead and lock into place that child support past the age of 18. But if it is truly not going to give you any benefit, an alternative is to seek spousal maintenance. In Texas, we are allowed to seek spousal maintenance for a primary caretaker of a special needs child. Spousal maintenance is what you might commonly think of as alimony. And it is difficult to get alimony or special um, spousal maintenance in Texas. But what you have to prove is what you really need for your minimum reasonable needs. So you have to have a budget. You have to show your reasonable needs and how much your income is versus how much money you need. And then um, the court compares that to your ex-spouse's income. You cannot get more than 20% of the gross income of your spouse. Now, that is not a guideline like child support where you are basically guaranteed 20%. It is actually a cap or a maximum amount. You cannot get more than 20% of their gross income. Oftentimes you'll get less because what the judge is really looking at is how much do you really need. And oftentimes the judge will cut what you think you need versus what the judge thinks you need. But it is something that can last for many years after the child turns 18, because you're still having to care for this child who cannot support themselves. If you have an issue like this and you think you might be going through a divorce, give me a call and let's talk about what your options are. My name is Laura Hurd, and you can find me on the internet at www.ldherd.com. I do. I did. I'm done. Come see me. <laughs>